These guys are very different than the Kindle Oasis 1, but when it comes to the 3 and the 2, they're identical in every single possible way. Seriously, they have the same display on both of them. They have 1680 by 1264 pixels, 300 PPI, 16 levels of grayscale, LED front lights. Uh, they both have the exact same hardware in every single way, the same screen, the same shape, the same shell. Uh, and if we shine a light on the situation, you'll see that they still have the same light sensors on all four sides so it's not like they have additional light sensors or anything like that uh, the only difference is that the three has the warm lighting on it which we're going to show you in a second but we also have a couple other things that are different because the oasis 3 has a warm light system with leds on the bottom shooting out orange or I guess warmer LEDs than the white ones, and the two does not, we have warmth schedule, which we cover in the full review. You can turn it on to automatic gradually change with uh, sunset and sunrise based on the time, or you can say manual, so say from 8pm to 8am while it's nighttime, you want the warm light to be on, and you set the warmth level, so if you want it to be extreme candlelight or non-existent at all, you can actually set that right there, and you can allow to use location access, which is really cool because um, I can't remember any other reason Amazon would need locations uh, on their devices if not for this because most of the time they don't have any really scheduling service, I'll just don't allow for now, uh, on their devices. But you can toggle this on and off and it will utilize the warm lighting down below. The last difference is this, and it's very, very hard to tell, so I'm going to use a pencil. If you look at this white space here on the two, it is more blue. If you look at the white space here on the three, it's more white. And this is without the warm light system on. The warm light system is not on right now. We are zero warmth. We're just regular uh, blue slash white LEDs. But the blue and white on here is more white. And on the two, it is more blue. We're trying to really find some examples here of what's different. So there's, there's not very much. And this is something we've never seen on an Amazon device before because they've been very hesitant to implement it. And warm lighting it is. So you can turn on the warm lighting, looks like that. You can blend them together, get a nice kind of oak color, a nice stone gray, or go for the extreme kind of white. But I did notice that uh, on our initial testing that with the warm light even off, it is more white than the two. You know what else is different? The price. It's $250 to $360 USD. In Canada, this is $470 after tax, shipping, landing, all that kind of stuff. It is the most expensive Kindle available and it is the most expensive e-reader on the market outside of the professional scene like the DBT and everything else. The upgrade between the two and the three is absolutely marginal. There's almost nothing different. We've shown you three things that we had to scrape to find three things different enough about these devices. I personally, when we had meetings here at the Goody Reader Studios and offices, we couldn't really justify the upgrade. So uh, most people, a couple of the guys have a two. They're not going to go for the three at this point in time. There's just not enough different except the price tag. Don't be uh, scared about the champagne gold. That is not an exclusive thing. This is only available in certain markets, including the states. Otherwise, it's just going to be the standard color. For GoodyReader.com and differences between the Oasis 3 and the Oasis 2, this is Peter.